Hello, my beautiful friends. <laughs> Notice anything a little bit different? <laughs> of course, um, it's my eyes. So I decided to do something really fun between me and my higher self because I would never really do this, but um, she guided me to get some contacts because I, I've just been very curious about what she looks like, and she's been giving me like clues and things and. I realized that I'm just decorating my body. I would never do that before because of criticism and all these silly things that um, we get hated for, right? We get, um, I don't know, criticized for, but it, it doesn't matter. Like, I did it and I love it and I think it's so cute. So, um, yeah, all right. So let's talk about, <laughs> let's talk about what I really came here to talk to you guys about. Today's topic, you know, um, has is very serious, and I was guided to uh, to talk about this because it's very serious. Because it's something that is going to be happening more. It's something that has always been there, but we are in, of course, the apocalypse, which is revelations. So we are now learning more and more how this all works. And when I explain to you guys things, is this the it's a certain perspective that was shown to me but there's so many other different perspective perspectives to the truth because the truth also has levels just like we have consciousness levels right so something that i learned uh not so long ago is what it really means to have a um a blackout an alcoholic blackout and the way that my higher self presents to me information she gives me clues, you know, like it's not, it's never like a, like a full on, this is the truth in this vision. It's not so much like that. Like they gave me certain clues about things. It's a game. You're playing a game. If you, if you start to look at life as a game of trying to learn what the next step is and trying to find synchronicity, then you already won the battle. Basically, if you look at life like that, then yes. So. I started making these connections you know they give me little little clues and I, and, and I make a connection and then as I and then my brain lights up and that's when I ask I ask if this is true after I make all these connections then I ask my higher self hey is this the truth kind of thing and then my higher self gives me a confirmation like a yes or no confirmation and the confirmation comes in different ways, but it's always very clear to me if it's a yes or a no, because it's, it's very clear. <laughs> um, so I asked, I make these connections about what blackouts really mean. I've been learning so much about darkness lately. I've been learning how uh, we live in a world of duality. Therefore, if you can experience this beauty here like this is why we're so blessed you know there's a reason why i'm going into this this is why we're so blessed because as much as you it may be hard for you it's like there is somebody that is going through something even harder <laughs> there's there's always somebody that's going through something even harder however it's, it's not even just that but like as happy as you can be or as, as as beautiful life can be here in this planet is as ugly it can be um, underworld you can say in the underworld because it, we live in that world of duality it's the yin and the yang and this is why it's so important to be neutral because we're literally like a pendulum it when you go really high that's why we always crash really low correct right and so you don't want to in life you under, you have to understand that if you want to go really high in life um you have to know what it means to be really low you know and so this is part of growth and um with that said i've been learning how um when we are in a low vibration we get spirit attachments you know it's just the way it is because Spirit attachments, and I'm talking about like the unhealthy spirit attachments, because let me just clarify, everybody has a spirit attachment. So um, your spirit attachment is your guides, your spirit guides.
your spirit attachments are your spirit guides therefore these are the healthy spirits and they will always come into your life according to how high you're vibrating and each guide is here to help you however when you have a drinking problem or when you have any sort of addictions because it's not just a drinking issue this has to do with your vibration so it's not even about it's not so much on the issue of the addiction is the vibration but they go hand in hand because low vibration uh, basically is what causes the addiction and it's kind of like a chicken before the egg kind of thing they just go hand in hand and the way that what I've been learning to be honest is is that when you have an alcoholic blackout that means that you're not there one of the biggest um, challenges for human beings is to be grounded and to feel safe like we don't feel safe a huge part of it is well it's not a huge part of it is the real reason is because of ancestral trauma that is of, of whatever traumas it could have been I mean it, it just runs for so many generations and there's different different ones right this is why we have to work on ourselves and we have to work on our happiness and healing so we can learn to feel safe in the world and then we can manifest easier and create much easier because that's really what you came here for life is supposed to be easy so um, once you break through that trauma I'm giving you guys background because it's, there's you know so you can make the connections for yourself therefore when you are in an alcoholic uh, blackout you're not there we're gonna go back to that you're not there so what that means is that somebody's there for you and if you're saying that that an, what an alcoholic blackout is a is a possession then you're right that's pretty much ultimately ultimately what it means it's a possession because every time that you're not in your body that's why we get sick other bacterias come into our bodies we're not in our bodies because we're too much in our heads into our logical aspect which is also part of the machine and part of the mind control and it's here to create addictions for us so um, which is this video is gonna lead to all the other videos that I'm gonna make because I'm gonna be talking about time traveling uh, and then I'm gonna be talking about uh, the like the power of music and the subliminal messages like you guys there's so much like there's there's different matrices all right there's a, a, a a real beautiful matrix which is of the universe and then there's the one that we are breaking from but it's not again it's not because we live in a fucked up world where we're just lied to because we're lied to it, it's not about that is that we were lied to because it had to be this way to protect us because we didn't have the mental capacity to understand what is really happening and we were pretty much like a baby species so we have graduated so they are giving me a lot of information of what all these things mean so you guys can be more conscious and you can live more conscious when we drink a lot this is and by no means God is saying that you have to stop drinking it, it, the thing is is that if you're trying to heal the addiction there's this thing called the addiction that everybody has everybody is born with it pretty much or everybody gets gets given that because of the mind control matrix that we live in so we have to heal that and most people haven't healed that I think when you truly healed the addiction that's when you're in 5d honestly um, because you could be in 5d consciousness like coming up and down but you still are dealing with the addiction because I've seen that I've, if I feel like you're fully in 5d when you heal the addiction and um, and, when, and if you're trying to heal the addiction you have to stop drinking for a while you have to stop drinking so because there's some people that are like I don't want to stop drinking I'm you know I it doesn't it doesn't really cause me problems and it's like yeah you don't have to like it's not that you're gonna have to stop drinking forever but it's if you if you're going through things maybe it's good that for you to stop drinking so you can feel them and um, 
expunge them out to be honest yeah so then you can later on enjoy drinking without going into blackouts because that means that you're not in your body yeah so some like and this is what's kind of gonna happen this was part of the revelations that they showed me the other day that there's gonna be a lot of people with mental health issues because of this because of this because and, the, and I told you that there's another plague coming and that plague is basically the dark force in people you know it's gonna awaken the dark force in people so if you have a if you have some form of addictions it, when you're not fully feeling safe your anger it it makes another spirit with the same level of anger enter your body in other words you know so this is why it's so important for us to understand our anger. It doesn't mean that you cannot feel your anger because sometimes when you're, not sometimes, like when you're awakening, you have to feel anger. But just know that it's like, just know that you're working towards healing it, not towards suppressing it. Right. You know? So yeah, that's, that's a really big deal, guys. Like, I can't believe, you know, that I, I, I used to go into blackouts all the time all the time and it makes you do stupid shit it makes you do really stupid shit and it, that's kind of what they were showing me that it's going to get more intense you know and so we have to be really kind to people that have addictions because they don't even know what the fuck is going on and and this is this is everybody at one point we all have suffered from an addictive behavior at one point and that is usually a, a lower spirit attachment trying to fuck with you and this is why we have to love ourselves and it because it's not truly our fault we are victims of victims you know and uh, of course it's not other people's fault it's not that the spirit attachments fault either no 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 baby no baby it's if anything it's your fault for having low boundaries this is why boundaries are so fucking important so so yeah guys there you have it the main and real reason why we have blackouts is because we're not in our bodies and that alcohol, the alcohol takes us away even more when we, ha when we drink it such high doses. That's why they have the Santeria stuff, you know, that they drink alcohol. I mean, alcohol has been around for a very long time for that reason because it, it, it and it's a lower, and it's kind of like a lower consciousness uh, type of uh, chemical because it, it, it has it's poison it's, it's it has a lot of poison to get you to low to to lower your inhibitions so it's a lower consciousness kind of uh chemical uh, substance so what do you think is going to match lower consciousness spirits you know and if you're in a very low consciousness it can even match demons you know they don't want to kill you but they want to fuck with you you know they're going to make you sleep with people that you don't want to sleep with they're gonna they're gonna just make you get in trouble and that's what they do they cause trouble so I hope that this video was helpful for you um, if you were put in a situation like myself I mean that was part of the reason why I got raped now it makes even more sense why I got raped you know I was pretty much on a blackout and I said yes to going with a stranger and then right and it's so fucked up because right when uh, the person was going to do that to me go, 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 go. right when the person was going to do that to me I came back to myself and then I realized what the fuck is going on and then the person raped me and that and now I'm looking at it and I'm like that is a spirit possession of course <laughs> of course and that was another and that was a demon possession from the other person that was hungry for power So I want you to be more conscious of the choices that you'd make and the chemicals you put in your body, the amounts of chemicals, stop, 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 the amounts of chemicals that you put in your body. Okay, guys, I love you all. You know, any sort of mistakes that you feel like you've made in life or if you feel shitty, go do forgiveness on yourself. It's not, you're not here to feel bad about yourself. You're here to learn. Okay, guys, love you all. Um, you know where to follow me like this video if you thought it was helpful and share it for people that really could use it um 
subscribe and I love you guys and bye